Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my EDC channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the knives that Dan sent in. So, Spider Crow Bow River. Let's get into it. All right, so yes, I did the opening the package for the mail time video, um, but I, I did open the knives, but I didn't do like a real unboxing overview. So we're gonna call this the overview. Um, not everybody watches my mail time videos. They watch like my overview and review videos. So if you're one of those, then this is more or less for you. So uh, my buddy Dan sent in a uh, super awesome package. If you didn't watch that video, definitely you should totally go watch that video. I'm not marketing for myself. It's just an awesome, awesome package from my buddy. And uh, so this is one of the things that he picked up for me. That is part of my birthday Stormtrooper loadout. I love it. This is the Spiderco Bow River. Um, yeah, I definitely have not had one of these and I love fixed blades and he knows that. So uh, yeah, this this hit the nail right on the head. Um, so here's your, here's your book, your literature. For anybody who wants to read this, it tells you proper maintenance and designer and this and that. Um, here we go. And I've looked through this a little bit. Uh, you know what I should have brought? I should have brought in here my, ah, it's okay. We'll do some size comparisons with uh, a couple of my folding knives. I should have brought in my Guardian 3, my fixed blade. All right, so now that the box is out of the way. So you get this nice leather sheath, which actually is super, super nice. You can see everything on the side here. It's slicked real nice. Mm, I love leather sheaths. <laughs> here is the knife itself, though. Oh man, look at this thing. This thing is so wicked. Every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, I like it. I like it all over again. That blade is killer too. You can see the some of the stickers he got me sitting here from the reflection. Look at that. They're way off to the side over here too. So, <laughs> there they are. oh man, yeah, this the blade on this is so gorgeous. All right, let's uh. Let's do what we normally do real fast before I get off track all over again. So the Bow River, obviously this is a fixed blade and um, you can pick these up in a bunch of different places. You can pick them up on Amazon directly from Spyderco, um, you know, this and that. Uh, they're not insanely expensive. If you're looking to pick one up, like, you know, some of the other Spydercos, these are actually a little bit, uh, a little bit easier on the wallet. So we'll see here we are eight point or was that just about eight and a quarter from what it looks like on my end um <clears throat> yeah they're not they're not super terrible uh they're not gonna you know break the wallet or anything break the bank spider co msrps them for like 70 bucks you can sometimes you can find them a little cheaper on other places 3.7 ounces yeah okay yep 3.7 um, actually the Spyderco website says, uh, 3.8. So it's a little bit, a little bit lighter than they, they say it is. All right. And let's see here. Uh, I've only got a few things out for comparison. Um, so we will go with the Kubikoas because that is becoming more and more popular. Um, so people probably know just about the size of the Koas. Uh, here is the rat model two. So this this gives you a good idea of the size of this knife. The rat, or excuse me, the rat model one. I think I said model two. Uh, but you can see the rat one definitely is bigger than the Spider Cobra River. So it's it's a good like carry size. Uh, we'll do the pyrite because this thing has been taking the internet by storm. There you go. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just do one more. I'll move the pyrite. We're going to keep the uh, the rat model one up there and we're going to do the spider co PM2 that is the Warncliffe edition and uh, I carry I carry this 
a whole heck of a lot. Look at all the, look at all the pocket sand, not pocket sand. That's just dust. <laughs> Got sand on your blade? Well, sometimes. Uh, there we go. Look, it's all clean just for you. There. Perfect. Okay. So there is some size comparisons for you. Um, I mean, really, really, like I said, I think it's, I think it's a great size for EDC. Um, I just, my only, my only complaint so far is I love the sheath, but not for EDC, which, you know, this is kind of big for an EDC knife, but still I love to carry knives. <laughs> so it'd be cool to be able to just kind of carry it around. Well, I'm still, I'm on the hunt to see if I have a, see at least if I have one first, a better sheath for this. And if not, um, I'm going to have to see if I can order one online. So here we go. 8CR13. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 8CR13 MOV. That is your blade steel. And we, you can see here we have a full flat grind. And man, just this, this blade, this blade is so nicely done. I mean, usually you kind of you kind of go you kind of grow to expect that from Spider Co. Um, <laughs> I was watching my little fingerprints dissipate there. Um, you can usually expect that from Spider Co. Usually all their blades, everything's going to be pretty well done. You can see here this act this variant from Spider Co. is a China Spider Co. Uh, no big deal. I everybody knows I don't mind I don't mind China. Shout out to Rich at True Budget EDC. I don't mind China. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, yep, uh, I, I, I really didn't even have a question about that. Um, I wasn't even wasn't even remotely worried <laughs> if it was gonna cut paper. <laughs> I was trying to get a little curly cue. Yeah, there we go. My hand's not steady enough, but there you go. You can see this thing's got a really, really nice edge on it. Um, let me go ahead and just, there. I've been trying to conserve paper. See, save the trees. Ooh, I might get some hate for that one. I might, that, that may or may not be edited out. <laughs> um, so here, here is what I was talking about. So let me, let me get my pocket, get my little, little pocket out here so blade wise so this is what I was talking about so after I had said it in the in the mail time video I realized that this would probably be a little too big for uh, like a pocket carry so I I get that this is this is too big for a pocket carry absolutely you could if you wanted to but I would like to see a and if anybody knows of one holler you know email me or, you know, comment, uh, a scout carry sheath for this. I would love to have a scout carry sheath for this. My guardian three sheath is, uh, definitely, definitely too small. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, cause the guardian three is only, you know, three, three inch blade. Um, and the blade on this guy is four, uh, pretty close to four and a half. I think it's, I think it's 4.3 inches or something, something to that effect. So yeah, if you know of any um, any like scout carry sheets for these, I would really I'd really like to pick one up. Uh, the only other thing I don't think we've talked about is so our back half here. Now these are uh, G10 scales. They are kind of 3D. They're kind of contoured. You can see how they kind of fatten up towards the end here. We do have a full tang lanyard loop at the bottom. And uh, yeah, you can easily get a four finger grip on here. You don't have any choiling or excuse me, jumping up top. You do have a small finger choil at the bottom. So you can get a nice purchase on here. And uh, yeah, it, it feels great. Um, you know, if the knife wasn't so pretty, I would almost say it's a hard use knife. You can see we get a little bit, I don't know, come on camera. You see we get like, if I'm holding this and I wiggle the blade, we get a little bit of blade wiggle. Um, and that, that kind of gives me like steak knife feels, which is, I think I said that in the beginning that, uh, this feels like a filet and like dressing knife, which is awesome. I, I cannot wait to eat a meal with this. I know that sounds, 
sounds kind of funny, but uh, I yeah, I'm one of those that uh, sometimes you know if we go out to eat or something, I might pull out a pocket knife and cut my food. <laughs> sometimes they just bring you garbage knives. So this this feels like one of those that you would unroll out of a chef's bag and be like, all right, let's get to work. Grab a paring knife. Um, but these these G10 scales, they feel so good. It does. It feels it feels great. Um, and the color is very nice. We can see the G10. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man, I love the white and black. And like I said, he, <laughs> old Dan, did me a whole, like, Stormtrooper carry. Um, got the Baton 3 Pro here. I've got a Kaiser and a uh, Dagger. And, yeah, and these are all black and white. And I've even got the uh, the Star Wars Hank. Like, he, he did it up, man. And now I'm playing catch-up. Because I want to, I got to finish formally unboxing everything so I can actually carry it. So um, I'm not going to dive too, too deep. We're going to keep these videos relatively short. Uh, because we do have four reviews coming after I've carried them and I've used them. So these are just more of like your mainstream unboxing videos for anybody who may or may not watch uh, the mail time videos. So they don't get to see these before I actually do the full reviews. So with that out of the way. That's what these videos are. They're the uh, overview unboxing videos. So uh, yeah, uh, so far I am loving the Bow River. Um, I have not had 8CR from Spyderco yet. So I'm interested to see how it retains the edge. And uh, we'll find out because he's definitely going to get some pocket time. Definitely. <laughs> so um, I think that about wraps this one up. If you uh, enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. I really, really would appreciate it. Check out my uh, my Instagram. I post on there not nearly as often, but uh, I try to. I try to remember to post on Instagram. So thank you again, everybody. Catch you on the next one.